Hey guys, I want to welcome you to my new channel up here on YouTube. It is my new podcast called The Mash. I'm going to be doing everything from game reviews, game news, playthroughs, and talking about movies, some geek stuff, some technology, basically anything that I find interesting. I will kind of mash up into this uh, podcast. Before I get started... Uh, from my communities up here on uh, Google Plus, that's where you can find me. I have a game on, which is basically all the gaming news uh, posted there. And then I also have the MASH. And I have a couple other communities, but those are the main ones. Anyways, two people from those communities both sent me some Nintendo eShop credit. So Josh Turner and Mike Jenkins both sent me some credit. For the Nintendo eShop, and I want to thank you very much. I was blown away by your generosity. I wasn't expecting anything, and so uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Then also, my friend Jung here in Korea, he brought me something this last Thursday. Can't say what it is, but it's really cool, and I'm going to review that also, and post it up uh, probably next week. So, a big thanks to everybody. And anybody who's listening to this podcast, thank you for listening to it, and hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, let's get started. Oh, so today I'm going to do a playthrough of a game perfect for Halloween, which I think is great for Halloween, for the Nintendo 3DS, which is called Undead Storm Nightmare, a run-and-gun zombie survival game. The producers of the game is called G Style. I believe it came out about a year ago. Has four pl up to four players, local play, and then uh, it's basically a run and gun survival sort of game. What makes it interesting is the end bosses are really wacky and insane zombies things, creations. They're very fun. And there's lots of levels. There's 16 levels, lots of weapons. There's lots of grinding, so you have to, if you hate grinding games, then maybe you don't want it, but I think this game's really good. And you have to play some of the levels over and over, but you never get tired of them, because you're always collecting these materials to build new weapons, and basically survive the horde of zombies, and there's many different types of zombies also. So great game, great for the holiday coming up, Halloween. And I hope you guys sit back and enjoy. So let's get started with the mash. Okay, so here is Undead Storm Nightmare. And I'm going to select level 3, I believe. I'll start off with because there are some Nightwalkers in the game, which are basically you cannot kill them. They're a very dangerous zombie, zombie ghost looking thing. That shrieks out loud if it sees you or if you touch it or shoot it and any zombie in the area will be enraged and basically three times the amount of zombies or five times the amount come out of the ground here's a crawler zombie means they're crawling on the zombie that's mr. fat they're basically full of gas so when you kill them they explode so you cannot be in the area or you'll get damaged Okay, let me see here. It's getting dark. Let me go through. There's some see the zombies coming up. There's crawlers. There's also some citizen zombies, which are just make your basic zombie. A lot of crawlers in here. There's a citizen. Some supplies. Looks like some health vials, some ammo. Other health vial. Oh nope. Exploding barrel. Oops. You don't want to shoot an exploding barrel with you walking right into it. Lots of crawlers, zombies. No, later levels, these zombies come out of everywhere. You just basically shooting everything in sight. There's Mr. Fat, so you can see when he explodes, if you were in the area, you would get damaged. Uh, let's see what else. There's these flame worms that shoot big giant flames at you. There's some dogs. They're called plague dogs. They're basically... Supposedly the, the booklet says they're police dogs that basically got transformed into zombies, so. 
Mr. Fats, Mr. Fat Zombies. We should be coming up onto a nightmare soon, or a nightwalker. It's a nightmare for me, because once you set it off, it's very dangerous. There's the purple. See, the purple down there gives you a clue that there's a, a, a nightwalker in the area. Oh, it saw me. It's mad. Now you'll see every single zombie is enraged, bright red, and they're swarming like crazy. And they last for about 30 seconds to a minute. I can't remember how long, but either way, you're basically dead. It, the chances of survival is... I've done it before a few times, but the chances are very slim. I've done it, though. I've survived. You just basically have to keep staying away from them and kill as many of those zombies as you can and survive in that 30 seconds. So I'll do Mission 2 now. Mission 2 should be a little easier, and I can show off the end boss of the first end boss. So this is so supplies here. Lots of gold, so I'll get that. Citizen zombies, which are the basic zombies. Uh, Mr. Fat. Exploding his guts everywhere. Citizen zombies. Oh, here's my shotgun. Lots of weapons in this game. There's riot guns, handguns, magnum, assault rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles, flamethrowers, a rocket launcher, a missile launcher, a rail gun, grenades, mines, shuriken bombs, hellfire, uh, combat knives, sledgehammers, chainsaws, samurai swords, and different armors. So there's lots of weapons. And you get to level them up too. So the, uh, it's like the shotgun, it gets more range when you keep upgrading it and spreads out even more. And uh, the, uh, there's a lot of weapons you can upgrade, but it takes quite a while because lots of grinding and collecting materials. And just because you finish a mission, you still may be missing some of the materials and have to go through it again or go through other ones. Still a great game though. So let me see here, taking down some more citizen zombies, collecting the gold. Let me shoot these boxes here. Uh, lots of supplies, health files. You can only carry so much, so sometimes you just have to leave it. Because you can't carry it. Okay. The dogs can be a pain sometimes. Plague dog took him out. Ammo. Let's see. Gold sacks. Actually, I think the sacks are considered uh, materials. I'm not sure. One of them's materials. I think that's materials, and another one's gold. Okay, Mr. Fats. Mr. Fats are pretty. They can take some more hits, but they're pretty easy. Oh, there was Night Nightwalker. Leave that alone. Later on, the, the night walkers actually move around and walk around the levels. So it makes it much tougher than this second level that I'm playing now. It's the first introduction of the night walker. So they don't, uh, they just have a stationary. So they get much harder as the uh, levels get higher. Okay, so that was the zombie cage. Basically, the cage closes and you have. 20 seconds to survive all the zombies, kind of like a zombie trap. If you survive, then it opens up and you get to go again. Fire barrels, shoot the fire barrel and watch a fire fly everywhere, burn everything. Just make sure you're not in the area. Or you'd be like a roasted marshmallow. Let's see, here's some exploding barrels. Wow. Lots of Mr. Fats in this area. They can take some damage. There we go. I wasted that one. Oh, actually, I got some people with a fire. Okay. Yeah, this game's very good, though. It's good. It's, it's a fun game for Halloween. It's got some... It, the only time you get really scared is when you run into a Nightwalker. The game's fun overall, but... Anytime you run into a night walker and you hear him down the hallways, it makes your hands sweat and it makes you get nervous because they're so dangerous in this game. And if you set one off, the chances of you surviving are low. Then it's back to the beginning. So this level two, I think, only has three parts. Three parts than the end boss. Or two parts than the end boss. Okay, Mr. Fat. Going through some dark areas. Shoot up the crawlers. 
Mr. Fats there. This game is all about the gameplay. It's really good. It's really well done. Makes me wonder how the DSi, how the Nintendo DS game was. I'm sure it was pretty fun back then too. The graphics look similar. The only difference is it has uh, a choice of four different players. So it looked interesting. But I don't think it had as many levels. I think it only had like six or so. I'm not 100% positive, but I think I read it on the eShop. So let me shoot my way through here. No, yeah, lots of zombies, hungry ones. I'm like a steak in a window. I just want to come to the buffet and eat me up. Okay, here's the first fire worm. A worm that shoots fire. Don't ask me how it becomes a zombie. Sorry about the notifications. Should turn those off next time when I'm recording. Okay, let's see here. Lots of goodies. That must be gold. I know one of them's gold ones. Stuff you need to build more weapons. Okay, going through the dark hallway. Collecting some more good stuff. The levels get much bigger in the higher up too. And quite a bit more challenging. Okay, shoot my way through these suckers. So hopefully you guys will pick this up for Halloween. It's a uh, $4.99, $4.99 on the eShop in North America. I'm not sure what the other markets are. But it's definitely a fun game. Too bad there was no online play, but I, I understand for the price and everything. Still really worth it. Well, it has local play, so I can't complain. Okay, collect the last of the supplies and money and stuff. Okay, now time to go out to that. That represents the end of the level. You have like a time limit of 10 seconds to get all the supplies that are inside there. Now we're going to the end boss. Mr. Fujiyama, I believe it is. The sumo rustling zombie. The zombies are very unique and creative, the end bosses. Very cool. You get even more creative than this, a lot more creative. This is one of the games that you can always pick up and play for a few minutes here and there. And then go back to playing it later and always have fun. Never get tired of it. Set off these uh, fire barrels and let him catch on fire. Ow. Sucker. Let me take the care of this sumo wrestling zombie. Here we go. Green blood. He threw his last salt. He's done. Let me collect all the supplies here I needed for the next levels. Well, anyways, I goes, hope you guys enjoyed this game and hope you pick it up. It's called Undead Storm Nightmare on the Nintendo eShop for the 3DS for $4.99. And definitely worth every penny. You're watching me lose. Show that turned 35 today. Here's footage of the birthday celebration coming to you live from the K Town Hotel. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la, dear Sheldon. La 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 la. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. Woohoo. Yes, some islanders.
Thanks for their thoughts on the matter. Didn't we just do this a year ago? Congrats. Thanks for watching. For your 2 o'clock news, this is Lady Gaga, signing off.